An epic showdown awaits us as we enter the serious business of this 32nd edition of the Total Africa Cup of Nations. Nigeria up against South Africa in the quarterfinals of this illustrious competition. Oh, the control just letting him down there, but he, he does extremely well. And once the end gets the delivery in, it's headed away. Need to be careful. South Africa, Uwobi sets the ball up, the shot comes in, but it's high. And there is danger everywhere. Ndidi, the Leicester City midfielder. This could work there by Musa. Musa to Iwobi. Iwobi trying to get the ball across. There's a chance for Nigeria. It's in the back of the net. Nigeria scored. Nigeria found the back of the net there. Chukwese. Chukwese, the Villarreal man, just 20 years of age. Let's have a look at this again. Musa picks the ball up on the left-hand side. Uh, Iwobi's there. Gets past two players down towards the, uh, the byline. Second bite of the apple. Takes a deflection. He's a little bit fortunate there, isn't he, as the ball comes back off Mkwanazi. And a fine slick finish for the 20-year-old as Nigeria take the lead against... Bafana, Bafana. Ball come up, comes out to Muku. Chukwueze trying to take on his man. Hlanti is not taking. No for an answer. Goes down. Needs to be careful. There's the shot coming in. What a block that was from Furman. And he really needed to be there. Look at Furman's um, block here. Incredible. Look where he is. A stunning piece of defensive play. Tibbo with a free kick. There it is. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. And what a wonderful save it is. And that was tipped onto the crossbar there by Williams. And what a brilliant save it was. A sumptuous free kick. But look at that save. That is just delightful to see, of course. Williams tested. And he comes to the rescue. Is the corner for Nigeria. Musa takes it. It's not well taken. There's a chance there. Oh, I don't believe that Ndidi couldn't latch onto that. I don't think he believed that it was actually falling into his path. Nigeria have got other thoughts about this. That's a great... Oh, he should have. Igalo should have gone the end of that. That was great play down the right-hand side. He's having a stunning game, Chukwueze. And uh, he's been the standout player for Nigeria. And gets a de decent crossover. Kojo gets the ball out. Makize with a long-range effort. But it's a few metres wide. And this is what they need to do if they want to get themselves that goal. And remember, we got far, so we need to make sure that there's no... Uh Naughtiness taking place in the penalty box. Here's uh, Tau's uh, effort. There's a chance. There's a good opportunity. It's in the back of the net. They scored the goal. I think he's going to be awarded as well. Oh, no. What's happened here? The flag's gone up. Offside. Let's have a look. Well, there's players offside. Of course, they're offside. OK. Nothing wrong with that decision. It is offside. But we're going, we're going to VAR, of course. It comes off the Nigerian, so this could be given, in fact. I told you so, they've got the goal! South Africa have got the goal! It came off the back of the Nigerian defender, and there's nothing to say about it. You can't complain, he was onside. When the free kick was taken, he was onside. Great play there, Chukwese. Chukwese gets the ball out to Iwobi. Iwobi up against Furman. Iwobi up against Furman. Is he going to go down? Gets a shot in. Oh, that wasn't on target, but it was uh, a rising effort that was just drifting off to the left-hand side. Simon into the penalty box. It goes! It's a goal for Nigeria! They've got a goal! Oh, my word! They found the back of the net! Ikong of Udinese gets on the end of it, and the corner... Well, it wasn't difficult, really. He just needed to make contact. And it wasn't well read by the South African defence. And, of course, all of South Africa just can't believe what's happening here. Pure disappointment. It's heartbreaking. It really is. But Nigeria are jumping with joy. Nigeria. 
Uh, hello and welcome to the Cairo International Stadium. We find ourselves waiting eagerly for the semi-final number two as the uh, Total Africa Cup of Nations Egypt 2019 continues. It is Algeria and Nigeria that do battle on what is a relatively warm evening in Cairo. Fugoli wants options. He sees Bilaili on the near side. Bilaili. He's got two men waiting for delivery to come. Is it going to come in toward the back post? It is there. And how is that wide from Bunja? Daniel Lakpe committed, missed it, and Bunja, it struck him. Out for the goal kick. It's a little too long for Bunja, who gets on the end of it now. A brilliant one-on-one -on -one situation created by Bahdad Bunja. He's unable to beat Daniel Lakpe, a fine save. Big right palm out and denies Algeria the opening score just before the half-hour mark. Wonderful bit of uh, creative instinct, denying uh, Ndidi's pass out wide and quickly turning it over, creating a counter-attack out of not very much and then pressure on Amuro from Bahdad Bunja. Fugoli over the top, a real chance here for Bunja again between two defenders and that's just brilliant from Jamilou Collins. The recovery from the Nigerian defence, superb. Uh, looked to be another one-on-one -on -one situation created as Figoli managed to get that ball beyond an advancing Omurua. <laughs> Lovely ball in here from Iwobi, sets up a chance and pulled wide of target. Odi Nigalo with a chance to score his fourth of the tournament. And look at this, the way that it's won back, it's a Tebo with a ball-winning ability in the middle of the park in the first place. Delivery out wide, this is better from Mares, looking to take on Jamilou Collins, Mares with his weaker right, deflected in, and that's an unfortunate own goal from William Trost de Kong, who proved to be the hero with the winner against South Africa in the quarter-final, has turned it into his own net. He is experiencing the highs and lows. Just days apart is William Drostikom. Scoring that late winner against South Africa in the quarterfinals. He's unwittingly tucked the ball into his own net here after Mares had done the damage down the right. Heels here and muted appeals from the Nigerians for a handball in the area. All Bari Galo, who is still pleading with the referee. Well, Figuli having a bit of a battle and Zakele Suela on the near side, the South African assistant referee says that is a free kick to Nigeria. It struck the arm of Mandi and we are going to a penalty and this is the correct decision. The Algerian fans react angrily. Mboli up against Tigalo. Scored against Burundi, he scored a brace against Cameroon and he levels for Nigeria here with 18 minutes to go. Odia Nigalo is the tournament's leading goal scorer with four and Nigeria are back on level terms. It's a fun again. Ben Nasser. Ben Nasser looks to go around the outside, he's never scored a goal! An international... Match and he comes agonizingly close here as it clatters off the crossbar and over. Ismail Ben Nasser nearly scores in added time to take Algeria through. Mares showing his class and brilliance. Mares! Oh, unbelievable from Mawaziem once again to deny Mares, who looked to be in for a shot on goal. It's a free kick here to Algeria on the edge of the penalty area in the last minutes of added time. Fantastic run from Mares, but look at the positioning from Chidozi Awaziem. The mind-blowing Mares has done it! Algeria are through! It will be a repeat of the group stage match with arguably the final kick of the game. The miraculous moment that has captured it for Algeria has come. Nigeria surely felled here. Simply marvellous. Nigeria cannot believe it. In added time, Riyad Mahrez has struck brilliantly from a set piece and ended it 2-1 in 90 minutes.